What's up travelers? In this video, we're going into the Roman Forum here in Rome, Italy. Check it out. So what's behind me here is Largo de Torre Argentina. In ancient times, it was known as the Theater of Pompeii. Right over there on that set of steps yeah. is where it is believed that Julius Caesar was assassinated. This is a fairly significant place in ancient Roman history. This place wasn't very big. But yeah, the theater's definitely right there. Interesting thing about this place right here is it's a cat sanctuary now today. And right down there, there's yeah, there's a cat right there. But uh, they, uh, they take care of, of uh, elderly stray cats down there, and they just take care of the cats that are around here. Looks like we can get down here a little bit. Can't go in, unfortunately. But. Here we have Vespasian's Arch, and he's known for a urine tax, actually. His son Titus actually tried to get him to repeal his urine tax, but <laughs> Vespasian replied to him very famously, gold doesn't stink, <laughs> which is really funny. I think it's important to start this off with the story of Remus and Romulus. Remus and Romulus, they were the founders of Rome. They were two toddlers who were found in the wild, uh, suckling from the teat of a wolf. Eventually, they got adopted into a family and they grew up and they decided that it was time to start a city. Well, Remus and Romulus, they had a big disagreement over which hill they wanted to start the city on. And as legend has it, Romulus wanted it to be on Palatine Hill. I can't remember the name of the hill that Remus wanted it on, but they ended up getting into a fight and Romulus ended up killing Remus. And then Rome began growing from Palatine Hill because that's where it started. We are standing right here in front of the Temple of Romulus. It's pretty cool that we're gonna get to go in here, but this is just a cylindrical building with a couple of gray granite uh, columns. Of course, you see on the top there, it was turned into a church later on in life. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go on in. So you'll see that there's two columns right in the front here, and they're made out of Egyptian purple granite, which is some of the rarest mineral on the planet and just a little chunk of it would fetch you probably a million dollars or so hello apparently you need a, a special ticket to get in there and i don't have that ticket so that kind of sucks i was in there about six years ago and it was pretty cool kind of catholic -y though <laughs> that was the temple of romulus pretty important temple in ancient Rome. So this is the Temple Ara de Caesar and it was inaugurated to deify Julius Caesar after his death. Augustus quickly had this built and this is actually where 
the altar to Julius Caesar is. And it is said that right there where these people are sitting is where they actually cremated Caesar's body after he was murdered. This is the temple of Antonius and Faustina, a couple of rulers in the golden age of the Roman time period when they went and pushed all the way up into Britain. As you see, the Catholic Church thought that this was a pagan place, so they decided that they really wanted to take this down. So you see those those marks in the gray granite columns? Those are from ropes when they were trying to pull them down, and it just wasn't happening. And you can see up top that it's, it's dedicated to Antonius and Faustina up there, and they were deified after their deaths. Here's the, the temple of Saturn, where they used to come and worship Saturn. This is the temple of Castor and Pollux. According to legend, the two brothers, sons of Jupiter, were seen watering their horses at the spring of Juturna in the forum after helping the Romans against the Latins and Etruscans at the Battle of Lake Regilius. Postumius Albinus built a temple dedicated in 484 BC which was transformed several times over the centuries. The high podium dates to its reconstruction by Metellus in one 117 BC. Another important reconstruction took place under Tiberius. So this is the Temple of the Vestal Virgins, a very, very important part of the Roman religion. Here there were six priestesses who lived here and they lived very lavishly and they they made sure that an eternal flame kept burning. as they felt that if the flame extinguished, so would Rome. And that may have actually been the case. There was a fire in, in about around 50 BC, and this was the first building that was actually reconstructed. But, yeah, this place was really important to the Romans.
these were actually the apartments of the virgins. Alright, well this has been my video for the Roman Forum. I would go up into Palatine Hill and go show you the House of Augustus and all of that kind of stuff, but my ankle is absolutely killing me, so I think it's about time to turn in, maybe go find some dinner. I got a big day tomorrow. We're going to the Vatican Museums in St. Peter's Basilica, so that's going to be a long one. My ankle needs some rest. <laughs> so. If you've enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'll catch you in the next one.